Terry, hello, it is December 2022, and we have a favorable view of the Acasis 40 gigabits per second NVMe M2 disk enclosure. Now, I would recommend this if you if, if it's a an enclosure that you your first enclosure and you're buying a fastest possible disk enclosure. In all my testing, this is it. There are a few caveats. So the caveats are that in my testing with the super fast drive that I have installed here, um, I didn't manage to attain the maximum possible speeds. Uh, and at best, I had three gigabytes per second, which may sound like a lot, uh, but it slapped off a lot when I had file transfers of around 40 gigabytes in size. So to repeat, if you only if you're looking for a fast SSD disk enclosure, I've searched through lots and lots of sites, done lots of analysis. This is the one to get. It's about a hundred pounds from Amazon, and uh, I'll sometimes do a retrospective unboxing. <laughs> it comes with this aluminium chassis. It comes with some two rubber grommets which you use to attach the end bit. NVMe drive, which you buy separately, into the case. This then slips on top and clicks shut nicely, and you have a wonderfully, uh, wonderful quality product. Uh, it comes with a single Thunderbolt 3 cable, and you're only going to get these very fast speeds if your system supports Thunderbolt 3. Um, uh, there is a full review on the uh, on our WordPress site, but to cut to the chase. Uh, on my Lenovo laptop, which doesn't have Thunderbolt 3, the best I could achieve was about seven, sustained was about 770 megabytes per second, absolutely sustained. Uh, and to repeat, the best speed that was achieved on this device for 40 gigabyte transfers was about three gigabytes per second. But that soon fell away when I was trying to transfer from this disk back to the Apple system using a Thunderbolt 3 interface. So it, it dropped from 16 second copy to the drive to a one minute copy back from the drive. And that was basically almost the same speed as my very old disk dock with a very old uh, NVMe SSD drive in it. So the summary is, it's a brilliant device. I think the systems you are connecting it to are the limitation, not this Thunderbolt 3 dock itself. Uh, I found it to be a quality product, and I think if it's your first and only disc dock that you're buying, I'd go for this one. Okay, thanks for watching.